Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Stonehearth. Now, you're probably expecting a live stream to have happened in between the last episode of this one, but I have been playing uh, Night Nurse and Day Nurse to Rosie over the last few days, uh, nursing her back to health, so unfortunately we couldn't uh, do any streaming. And, as well as that, I have just found out that Alpha 23 is just around the corner. They've just made the last changes that they're going to make to Alpha 22. Um, and they package them up for people to test them, trial them, see what works, see what doesn't, and they'll be making their final bug fixes. So we should see Alpha 23 very, very soon. With that said, live streams are still going to be happening, but they may not be happening with this version of Stonehearth, and we may first need to see if this save will continue into Alpha 23. If it will, I can continue with Mount Mole and everything like that, and if it won't, we're going to have to start afresh. Um, but we will do that in the coming weeks. Uh, live stream times, if you want to know when they're happening, will be on my Twitter. So don't make sure you go and follow that. I'm at the Fuzzy Mole on Twitter. Um, and I'll be announcing everything on there. With that said, into this game, we're going to start playing. I've set up something to be put. Really? We're going to hope that doesn't affect anything major. Because that is... That's quite worrying, that is... <laughs> Right then. So I've set up all of this to be mined out around the edge. We should see our dudes just taking all this out. Uh, Space Girl of the Night, level 3 cook's pretty cool. Soon we should be out getting some uh, some pretty tasty meals coming out of him. Uh, and then we'll start placing all these foundations in. And then we can start placing our walls around the edge. Something I've been wanting to do a very, very, very long time. I don't know why they start putting their scaffolding up around the bottom, because there is no need. There is literally no need. I mean, I suppose they can if they want. It's not going to ruin anything, but it's really odd. You can see them there filling in the back. Um, we do have a few renames, don't forget. We've got... Um, Quite a few people joined us last episode, of course. Whoa, hello, there is somebody here. I'll get on that in a second. Message on an hour appears on your banner. Um, goblin wolves are trained to attack on command. Free them before that command is issued. And you will sleep easy tonight. The one who watches you. Um, okay, so we're being attacked by some goblins over here. Looks like the goblin wolves are, in fact, down there. So we're going to grab our military. Tell them to attack that guy to start off with. Uh, we'll get him moving at a little bit faster than normal speed. And then we go, oh, we got a knight running down here. I forgot we made one of them. It's brilliant stuff. And they're going to run off down here and take all this stuff out. Nice and quick like for us. Lovely. There we go. The walls explode joyfully from the cages. Yep, yep. A oh, woo as usual. Um, once they've taken this guy out, I'll probably just set a command to attack everything that's here. They should have him done sort of soonish. There we go. Speed them up down here. So they're going to take out that and then we'll get them on a defend location command just over here. And that should do. Um, right, a trader brings seeds from a distant land. Uh, if you make me six gold box kits, I'll be back in four days. I'll get you some acorns. Nah, no, I'm okay, I think. We are not in great need for particular trees at the moment. Uh, yep, yeah, that's everything set to be looted down there. We do need to get our workers just on some general tasks very soon, because we've got a lot of stuff just sitting out in the open over here. And they are picking it up and they are moving it down, it's just not very fast. And we do of course have all of these areas down here as well to be cleared out. And they are doing a pretty good job of it, but they could have some time, you know, to get the uh, the backlog of tasks all sorted. Um, with that said, maybe we could, oh, oh, we just witnessed the, ca the capturing of a raccoon. There we go. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually seen that happen in this game before. Um, right, so uh, the farmers are doing all right. Nothing's being left out that's not harvested, but lots of stuff is just being left out and just sitting around, which is not great. Um, I mean, they've got a huge job moving all this stuff at the moment, so that's that's fair enough, I suppose. We'll let them get on with that. We check our daily update. We have got enough. I think I'm actually going to accept the person just because I want the extra. The extra hands really. Enak Kristoff has joined. What's Enak Kristoff able to do? Enak Kristoff is very empathetic. That, is, uh, that can be good, can be bad. A bit of a double edged sword with a six in mind though, so he's a pretty, pretty intelligent little lad there. 
Mr. Renak or Mr. Christoph, sir. Um, right. Do we have any spare beds? I don't know. Um, I think we do. I think these are all spare beds. So we're going to assign these down here to people. And then hopefully they should start using their rooms. Uh, of course, with this, we need a load of doors. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. 10, 11, 12, 14 doors need to be made so we can grow up, we can go up and grab our, do we still have a potter? I don't know if we do, requires a potter, no we don't, we're uh, strictly using our blacksmith right now aren't we, do, can you make doors? Can you make any sort of door? I don't think you can, can you? Ah, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna have to make, turn someone into a potter just so that we can um, get some doors made aren't we? That's gonna have to happen, well, I suppose, do our, does our mason have? That requires a mason. That requires a potter. What happened? What happened to Potterisha Mason? What's she doing these days? Potterisha Mason. You're a potter. Why does that say it requires a potter? Huh. That's a bit weird. Um, we will get you. Oh, we're going to get you. We're going to turn you back into a mason. Change your jobs. You're going to become a mason again. My burly hands reappears. Hello there. Anyone still home? Congratulations are in order. I don't know what kind of accent this is. It's gone Irish again. Of course it has. Uh, if that's the sort of thing you care about. I've been up and down the area and it seems you've taken care of the bulk of the goblins around these parts. Not saying you won't see a straggler or two coming to harass you, but good job all in all. Here's a gift I've collected from na some neighbouring towns. Everyone's sleeping easier tonight because of you. Oh. Wow. Gave us a gift. Ooh. Shiny, shiny gold. Trader approaches the town as well. Uh, 14 clay goats will give you 4 gold ingots. Nah, that's not worth it. Not at all. Um, and Kenkavishan has achieved farm at level 5, which is brilliant. So we're going to need 14, 14 of these these bad boy doors. Um, we'll get on crafting that. Uh, and we are going to need how to level up. Um, so what are we going to need from here? I suppose we could get some stone tables made, couldn't we? We could get uh, about a good 20 of them made. And with 20 tables, you of course need... 40 chairs. So we'll get on that as well. Um, so one thing to look forward to, in fact, is a thing I've recently learned. Alpha 23 is supposed to have some fixed lighting. So uh, we can actually start lighting up everything and it won't break the game every five seconds as it does in uh, every other save from Alpha 22 and below. Um, can't wait for that. But yeah, there's still a lot of stuff just laying around on the floor. Come on guys, let's sort this out. The place is a mess. All this stuff needs to be looted and and such. And we've got our extra workers on hand now. Things should start speeding up. Got some pan pipes there. Make our winch. Oh, hello, big dude. Military. I need you to come over here. Fight this big thing. Daily update. Oh, we have enough again. Yeah, sure. Why not? We got Negel Kanai. Oh, Neg Negan even. Wow, didn't do a thing. Awesome. Uh, right, let's set you guys back on defend over here, and we'll check our new person. Negan Kanai, uh, how are you and how are you doing? Whoa, you're amazing! You probably should join the military, shouldn't you? Become an archer of sorts. Um, speaking of archers, we need to get our blacksmith to level up. How is he doing with everything? I think he's doing pretty well at the moment. I mean, it looks like our military has had some sort of level up stuff applied, so... Yeah, it's not too bad. Darwin is sitting in there as a level 6 footman. Um, don't think he's got a shield. A bit worrying. Let's have a look. Um, let's bring the slices up. I hear the blacksmith going away. Can't really tell what he's doing, though. Let's have a look. And here's build queue and see what he's up to. Uh, Mr. Blacksmith, sir, what are you doing at the moment? You are creating iron, and I suppose as soon as you've made that, you're going to make the cheapest thing in the list, aren't you? Um, you are, aren't you? Okay. Uh, iron mail is now available, so I suppose we should queue uh, four of them and put that somewhere further up the list. Put that up here. Um, and you can make some steel circlets? Oh my word, yes, please. Uh, we'll get four of them made, and then we're going to move them in importance. Oh, can I not? There we go. Can scroll that up. So we're going to put these up more important than the iron ones at the top. 
and then we're gonna just remove these two iron ones that are left. Right, trade approach is done. We have so many things to look at now. Uh, two Foxley, I don't know what they are. Um, I'm gonna decline. I'm not sure what they are. I don't think I need them. Um, and he's, of course, joined Mount Mole. Brilliant. Okay, right. Oh, he, I mean, she uh, has joined Mount Mole. Um, have we got any more goblin camps in the area? I don't think we do. There's no more giants about. Um, we could take our military out and go do a bit of uh, exploring down here. That should be something we should maybe look into doing. Because, of course, the further we extend our range of sight, the more places the enemy have to spawn in. So the further they could be from us. Just gives us more opportunities, really, of surviving. We'll keep on exploring down to here. I don't honestly know why that pathfinding worked like that, but it did. So uh, not really going to question it. We'll just check and see what's over here as well in this big open area and probably circle back around through here. Okay, anything interesting? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like the, uh, the cliffs have got anything good in them either. Which is not really what I was hoping for, but I suppose it's okay for now. And then we'll set our defend location back here. Lovely stuff. Okay, and that's opened up a lot more of the map now for the enemies to possibly spawn in. Nice and far away from our city. Um, we don't have enough net worth anymore. We could get on that right now. We could place down a wall all the way around here. So we're going to place a one-of-a-kind building. Do some freestanding walls, and they are hopefully on the same material as before. I believe it's uh, three out from the edge. And then a full... How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's a full 16 out. Six, seven, eight out for here. And then this one to here, and then that one, two, three, four, oh, is that four? Five, six, seven, and eight out to there. Lovely stuff. Okay, let's set those to be built. Yep, build that, start building that. Our guys should be able to deal with this no problem down here. There's nothing different to what they usually face. But they are taking quite a lot of damage from it, it's a bit worrying. Oh, he's talking about his new steel circlet. <laughs> he's like, oh, look at this fancy steel circlet. And then they cry about it for some reason. <laughs> it's like, I could afford this, but not a proper bed. <laughs> oh, I love it when they, uh, when they start building these walls. All right, there we go. We should see them take down the scaffold scaffolding now and get on with the moving. Looks like the majority of the stuff that was here has actually already been moved out, which is nice to see. Um, and we could probably go down here and harvest this tree as well now. Get ourselves some more wood into the coffers and we can harvest all of the berries over here too. Right, the Iskander Trading Caravan has returned. We're going to see what we need to buy from them. Uh, what have we got? We've got four of them in stock. We don't really need any of them. Let's sell all of these. Uh, don't need any of those. Got an absolute abundance of doors now. Um, sell all of those, we don't need them. Oh, we're gonna hold on to those for now and we can sell all of our pelts. We are gonna look into getting a tailor very soon, but we're of course gonna need to get the, uh, what is it, the saw from the blacksmith to get ourselves a carpenter. And then from there, we're gonna need a reliable source of wood. So uh, that's gonna be madness for the farmers to keep trees in, in supply and me carrying on planting them. Right. Okay, it's good to see lots of stuff being pulled up from down here now and the looted items start being brought in as well. Brilliant stuff. All right then, what is our blacksmith doing these days? He could make us some carpenter saws, so let's make, uh, let's make four of those. I'm gonna put these right to the top of the list because they are fairly important to how we're gonna run things. Hopefully that should be the next thing he starts working on. Yep, yeah, okay, we're gonna get a carpenter saw. And with that information, who should we promote to be a carpenter? Um, they've got to have a good mind and a good body stat. Body stat's not as important, mind is more important. So Inak Kristoff, you just joined and you look like you could be our, uh, our carpenter. What do you say? Do you want to be a carpenter? Yeah, I'm going to make you our carpenter. Brilliant. So we have now progressed to the stage where we are as technologically advanced as the other civilization we could have been, right? A goblin with an officious smirk slithers into the town. Puny town, bow and tremble, Argos Bannerman. Huh? By order of Argos Galbonka, goblin all chief to be, 
You and all your staffs now be tribute to Great Glittering Army and Red Kiln Empire. Uh, no. Ha ha ha, whatever. You all belong to us now. We come soon to collect you for gold mines. Okay, right. I'm sure you will. Uh, in that case, we're going to accept more people in. Aleph, Aleph Tolem, any uh, relation to Sia Tolem, I wonder? Um, you are a pretty cool dude. You, what have you got? You've got amazing mind stat. Wow. Uh, actually, what did you have on your... You've got courageous and stoic. Ooh. Takes a lot to make this halfling happy or sad, and you fight like a like a Scottish woad warrior. Um, right, let's see if we've got any more beds to place down. We do. We've got a we've got a fancy bed. Someone in here is going to get a fancy fancy bed, um, and that someone is probably going to be the new guy, if I'm honest. Um, or maybe this bed. Um, what is this? Already has a similar object. Yeah. Okay. We're going to give that to that person, and this one is going to be for Aleph Tolum. Lovely stuff. And we'll probably take uh, our floors down and make another set of dormitories much the same below when we can. Um, right then. We could take this opportunity, I suppose, to upgrade this uh, eating quarters over here. Um, maybe we'll just make a second one. I don't know. Let's see. What have we got to place in? We've got a load of doors, but we can do that off camera. That's fine. Um, oh, we have a carpenter now. We need to make the carpenter's stuff. Uh, the carpenter needs to have a workbench. Okay, so he's going to get on that straight away. And then with that, we're going to make our weaver's spindle and some bows, because we are dire need of some archers. Um, especially if this army comes and we can we can lift up the ladder in time, because that means we can just shoot them on from on high. Great. Um, figure with a sibilant voice appears beside your fire. Are you afraid, Valiant Town? Our ghost so-called chief will be here soon. For you. Oh, yes. To borrow strength to rise means to fall when strength fails. Ogo borrows his power, not from his so-called sayer, but from the babe he stole. Um, okay. Upon this paper you shall find the lullaby to soothe the mountain soul. Find a stolen flute. Bid your woodworker pitch it to this melody. Place it in Ogo's great, uh, great ogre's path and watch its self-importance meet its just reward. Sounds good. Fight hard, little town. Fate is meaningless. But were it not, yours would be to rise. Wait, who are you? Me? Today it matters not. Tomorrow, it, if you still live, you may call me Erdine of the Red Kiln. Cool. Yay. Carpenter unlocked the wind charm recipe. Let's see. Um, can we make this? That's a recurve bow, and that's just an archer's bow. Okay. Uh, orders. No. Recipes. Have you got a new one? Mountain's wind chime requires carpenter level five. Oh, that's not going to happen, is it? Oh dear, that is definitely not going to happen. I waited way too long to get this carpenter. Um, right, let's get this stuff placed down. I'll go back into slice mode, bring it up to this sort of area, and we'll place in the carpenter's workshop down in this corner, methinks. That'll do for now. Um, we have some more trees to plant as well, I might as well do that. Uh, let's place these with a nice big gap between them. One, two, three between there and one two three and four between there one, two three four to there and yeah we'll just place another couple another one there that should be good right let's see what have we got we've got a fine comfy bed we might as well place that down um let's put that in one of these big rooms let's turn it round nice opposite the door just in there brilliant Okay, um, let's have a look, see. Carpenter, carpenter, carpenter. Has that been placed yet? It might have been, I don't know. Looks like it has. Okay, we're gonna place an order for this and we're gonna make it the most important thing ever. But you need to get to level five and you need to do it quickly. So best way to do that is to set you to build a thousand crates. And <laughs> just have you continually make crates until you've leveled up. Not enough net worth to bring in a new person. Invaders are approaching. Um, oh, oh, hello, you're an ogre, oh dear, um, oh, oh dear, uh, everybody, run, um, why was the military not here? That's a bit of a worry, right, so we're gonna play at normal health, normal, normal health, normal speed, right, military coming in, where is our, oh, there he is, he's over there, he's healing the population, okay, Okay, there we go. So our footmen are getting involved now. 
Alexander Hamilton and Battleangela getting involved with Dolbones. Beating this ogre up in the corner by the ladder. There we go. So he's starting to get really low on health now. And he is done for. Lovely stuff. Uh, pretty sure the town could probably come off alert mode very soon. These walls are taking a lot of damage. A lovely bronze sword there on our knight. It's a good job. Yeah, we go. So the town come off alert mode and we are back in business. That was a really big attack. Let's place our defense beacon down here again. That was they caught us off guard. Oh, that could have been that could have been deadly. Um Right then. Uh these are all going to need harvesting soon. But they're going to need to grow a little bit first so we can get some more wood out of them. Uh, while we're waiting for that, actually, we could, I suppose, go over here and get some wood from these trees. Uh, if we mined out... That's quite a big, big way to go up. Um, let's see. We take out this one, and then we take out these two. And we take out these three, and then the top layer gets four taken off. There we go. We can see them going at it there. They built some stairs up to there. We can then take off a couple over here. And they should be able to, with a couple taken off there, get up to that tree. We can harvest that. Get a load of wood from that one. Should keep us in crates for a good few years. <laughs> uh, the Eskinda trading caravan has returned. Little does he know he's going to be buying a... Uh, well, we're going to buy a lot of wood from him. And then he is going to be buying a lot of crates from us. Oh, I say a lot. He's got seven from us. Um... And of course, what else do we need to sell him? We've got the usual, all the pelts from down here that we don't need. Okay, lovely stuff. Right, let's stick a uh, harvest on this tree as well, uh, just because it's easy to get to. That one down there should do. And I don't think there's any others that are easily accessible. Uh, it's a bit of a shame. That's the problem with living in a desert. There's not much wood around, so you can't really level up your carpenter. Well, on the bright side, it looks like everything has been looted. So all that stuff that I was worried about that was uh, just down here sitting out in the open has actually been put away in our chests. We should be doing a lot better now. Um, crashes should come less often because there's a lot less just random things sitting around on the floor. Uh, we'll stick harvest on all of these as well to carry and get the berries. And all of these uh, silk plants over here because we're going to need that at some point or another to make bandages and whatnot. So uh, let's have a look at building some more freestanding walls for this section. We can place them in here to here and around the corner is here and it's gonna go out eight. That's four, five, six, seven, eight up to there. Well, that's the wrong color. Why is that been done in that color? Or is that wrong? I don't think that's wrong. That's okay. All right, let's build that up. Yeah, that's not wrong at all. Just the highlight color. And someone should get on building that when they when they can. You know, Chris Tucker's already level level two carpenter. He's going to need to speed up though because he needs to get to uh, level five before we can do anything useful with him. Uh, we have enough for another person. Might as well do it. More hands for the fire, you know. Um, who is the new person? I did not see who is the new person. Uh, Raiden Grozzy. Oh, Fasha Grozzy's. Oh, he's basically Avatar. Uh, Raiden Grozzy. Where are you? You have got a really high spirit, and you're a, you're a professor. Raiden Grozzy will help people gain experience in the basics of their class, though. Explanations tend to be a bit, you know, long-winded. Oh, okay. Well, Negan, can I? You are going to join the military. Before I forget, I need you to become an archer as soon as possible. Although with six body, body states, you probably should become a... Um, no. Uh, a knight of some kind. All right. Uh, with our carpenter, I'm not going to forget, I need to place in an order for some archer's bows. Um, I don't think there's anything else we need to make. We can make a weaver's spindle while we're here, make that slightly more important than those, and we can make some archer's bows. We need level four for that, though, so we'll make two of those and put them up here. Shepherd's crook is going to be important when the time comes, but not just yet. What else could we make? Um... We could make some comfy beds, couldn't we? We've got... Oh, we need to get some bolts of cloth and some mean beds first. Okay, a trade approaches the town. Um, three mason chisels for six garden lanterns. Nah, not in need of lights right now, I'm afraid. 
let's see. Oh, of course, we need to uh, give somebody, give the new person a bed, don't we? They can live there. There we go, Ryden Grozzy, you're going to live there. Uh, let's have a look at what beds we can place down while we are here. Make sure we've always got one bed spare, just in case. Lovely stuff. Right, whoa! Whoa, that's a crypt. Oh, that is an evil crypt at night. We're going to wait till the morning to attack that, I think. Because I have a feeling that's going to spawn zombies. Uh, just going to keep an eye on it, really, for the moment. Yep, yeah, there's some uh, there's some skeletons and some zombies sitting around there. That's, that's quite creepy, actually, isn't it? Wow. Those models look so cool. Those candlesticks. Oh, I'm really impressed. Uh, there's nothing else out in the open, is there? Doesn't look like it. No, it's just that sitting over there. Being ominous in the distance. Right, well, we'll wait for daytime before we make a move on that. Just so we can make sure everybody's up and about and well rested. Um, so we've got some good helmets coming out of the uh, blacksmith now as well. And the new person as well has joined the crew. Looking ready for action as ever. Right, as daytime approaches, we could probably set an attack command any second. Any second now. Come on. Bring back the light. We don't really want to attack this at night time. So zombies do actually get an attack bonus at night time. And of course, when it's daytime, there's no one here to defend it. So we can just run in and just decimate the place. You hear goblin war horns. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. All oh, right. At last, we come to a place of great shinies. Go forth, my minions. Go forth for Ogo Skullbonker's glory. Okay. All right. Okay. Take all the things. Right. Whoa. Okay. Oh, there was a big dude I saw. That was a really big dude. Where is he? Where's the big dude? I saw him for a split second. Where's he gone? Right, we need to place an attack command on these guys. Because we've got to deal with the archers before anything else. They've got some healers, but they're too far away to do anything for these archers. What happened here? Why did the... Why is there an axe there? That's really weird. <gasps> no! No, 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 no. Okay, military. Get back. Get, um... Pause. Right. Military. Get over here. I'm gonna... Get everybody there. Right. I need this taken away. And I need that one to be taken away in a second. But I'm gonna place the town on alert mode. And speed up time. Ogo's army approaches. Oh dear. Oh no! Another error. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh dear. I, I'm afraid this, this might be the end uh, for our fair town because that is a lot of goblins and these guys up here, none of them have got any weapons and that's a really big ogre. I'm afraid this might be the fall of Mount Mole. Oh no! Oh dear. Come on town, defend yourselves. Right, remove these. I'm going to take the town off of alert mode and everybody should get just get to working fast. If we can hold them here. Oh no, they're severely low on health. No, this is the end, isn't it? This is the end. Oh, I could... Oh! What happened to the ogre? What happened to him? Did he die? Oh my word! Is our healer keeping everybody alive? Oh my lord! How did that happen? Ogo Skullbonker falls to the ground. Right, everybody gather again for town alert mode. Did we just survive that? Oh my word. Oh my word. What? Ogo Skullbonker defeated? What soothsayers say? What mountains say? What, what about Khan? What about next cycle? Mountain, fight on. 
Oh my word. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> then they remove the ladders after we after we do them. I thought that was going to be the end of it. Um, oh my word. I mean, what a way to end an episode. That was insane. I mean, there's still some goblins down there. We can go down there and deal with these guys. That shouldn't be a huge problem. Not after what we just fought. Oh my lord. Um, let's just make sure everybody's still alive. Uh, there's nobody laying on the ground in agony or in pain. Uh, we've got 20 people. Is anybody... Everybody looks like they're okay and they're just sort of all doing stuff, which is fine by me. We survived it. How did we survive that with only one healer? I'm in, I'm in kind of shock at how awesomely that went for us. Well, what? <laughs> huh. Thank you everybody for watching this. I'm going to pause here and we're going to continue this next time. Um, yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Just wow. I think that just deserves a like for the sake of it. Um, because that was nuts. Um, I mean, give it a like to to send your appreciation to Battle Angela, Dullbonge, Negan Kenai, who's in need of a name. Um, and uh, of course, Alexander Hamilton being our knight. And not forgetting the most important person, Sideshow Bob. Keeping them alive through all of that was an insane job. But thank you for watching. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and the bell. There's new episodes like this every day. If you want the stream schedule and everything like that, it's on my Twitter. That's at the Fuzzy Mole on Twitter. Don't forget to go and follow me there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time in Stonehearth. Thank you, everybody, and bye-bye.